right next is excitation contraction coupling the steps in the muscle contraction before we begin let me just orient you to what i have drawn the red colored membrane is sarcolemma the plasma membrane of the muscle fiber it is composed of three sort of proteins dystrophin dystroglycan and sarcoglycan the triad of structure on the left and the right side are called muscle triad on the center you have t tubule or transverse tubule which allows the inward spread of signal right and on the side you have sarcoplasmic reticulum with terminal system which are bag of calcium now moving towards the muscle filament the thin filament are called actin the thick one are myosin and the head of myosin is also called cross bridge normally the interaction of actin and myosin is prevented by masking the site for binding actin and myosin right and the job is done by tropomyosin therefore it is also called relaxin protein that means actin and myosin interaction is prevented by tropomyosin right let's begin with the step once the motor nerve is stimulated it releases acetylcholine and you remember we said that there are postsynaptic nicotinic receptor which allows sodium to trickle in so once sodium is inside the sarcolemma gets depolarized and the signal is moved in this direction and ultimately towards the t tubule which allows the inward spread of the signal it stimulates the terminal cistern and it releases calcium this calcium pushes the tropomyosin towards the lateral side right look this tropomyosin is shortened now and this lateral displacement of tropomyosin exposes the side now actin and myosin can interact with each other and this will result in contraction of muscle fiber let's begin with the mcq's action potential in skeletal muscle is stimulated by release of acetylcholine which of the following is not a sarcolemmal protein sarcoglycan dystrophin and dystroglycan are the protein perlecan is protein outside the cell action potential of skeletal muscle inward spread with the t tubule right the side where myosin head binds to the actin are covered by tropomyosin the function of tropomyosin in muscle it acts as relaxing protein right the cross bridge the myosin right the head of the myosin are called the cross bridges next is what's the main cause of increase in blood flow in the exercising muscle you might say um, due to sympathetic discharge and which uh, which uh, stimulates the beta 2 receptor and there is vasodilatation but later on the vasodilation is due to the accumulation of local metabolites so right answer is b